Ah, niin tietysti näin. meikin. Hitman kertoo, että... Day one of the Poker October challenge and it's not going good. Uh, I woke up at 10 a.m. when my usual waking up hour was around 8.39 for the past week. Now I woke up at 10 and it's gonna be harder to put in those 10 hours required but I'm gonna do my best and if not, not. Uh, I'll play as long as I can today uh, and then maybe I will uh, make up for it in another day. It's just the first day so we we have time. There is time guys. Be patient. Be patient. We're gonna do this. Things are not looking very good. The plan was to come, come uh, at 9 a.m. maybe 10 maximum and start playing from there in order to be able to put in 10 hours until uh, until 11 p.m. Uh, unfortunately, things happened in a different way and now it's 3 p.m. and I haven't played yet. Uh, and it doesn't look like I'm gonna play anytime soon. And this is because three things, three main things led me to this point. The first thing is that last night at 4 a.m. My roommate uh, didn't have the key and he had to wake me up to open his door. And after that I couldn't fall back to sleep, I think for 30 minutes or maybe even an hour, but let's say 30 minutes. And I think that uh, it disrupted my, uh, my sleep schedule. Oh, wait, I have, I have the aura ring. I can look and see exactly uh, how much I didn't sleep last night. Just wait a second. And I'm back, uh, yes, so it's 30 minutes, I was awake for 30 minutes uh, according to Aura, you can see, I don't know if you can see this white thing here, that's the middle of the night where uh, I was awake for 30 minutes. So yeah, that influenced my, my sleep and um, I woke up at 10 a.m and the plan was to wake up at 8 so that was uh, one thing that delayed my schedule today and then I came to the poker and uh, today it started the holiday here in uh, China called the Golden Week and everybody's here in town for playing poker and the waiting lists are huge for 5100 there were 50 people already on the waiting list and for for 100, 200, 20 people. I put my name on the list, on both lists, and um, then I met with some friends and went with them to a restaurant nearby the poker room. And unfortunately, I haven't heard the, the phone when they called me, when it was my turn to get into the one-two game. And um, yeah, I missed it. That was uh, two hours ago, more than two hours ago. Since then, I only advanced because I lost the position and I got I had to relist my name again on the one two and I was again number 20 on the list and since then I only advanced 10 positions so I don't think I'm gonna get into a game sooner than one hour maybe even two today is compromised I I hope I can get in at least five hours or maybe if I get in a yeah, six hours I think I could get in if I don't take any breaks since I, uh, uh, from the moment I, I get into a game. I tried playing over the boxes, but I couldn't find any. People are hunting them like crazy. So I'm gonna go back in there and hope to find a box to, to play over. That's, uh, that, that's uh, a bad day one of the challenge, but there's still time to make up for it. So. Uh, Poker October continues. It's done. The first day of the challenge. We finally got into a game after uh, about six hours of uh, wait. Uh, we did the mistake of uh, not answering the phone when they called me for 200 and that, that costed me another almost three hours on the waiting list. I only got in three hours today, but uh, 
it's still the first day I mean not three I said three I got in six hours today but uh, it's not the end of the world we still have time to make up for that uh, and that's why I am going home early hoping to wake up early tomorrow in order for me not to stay that much on the waiting list uh, nothing had much happened so basically I finished uh, break even um, I had two hands two interesting hands uh, I'm gonna share them very very short first hand I have pocket kings and I uh, isolate a few limpers from the big blind first the first limper calls and we go heads up to a flop of jack 99 and I see that a third of the pot he quickly calls the turn is another jack and I decide to check he bets I call and on the river uh, on a three river so it's 99 jack river jack the river is a three I check again and he thinks for a while and then bets a pot size bet and I snap call him limp calling under the gun he has many pairs in his range that he will call a small C bet on that flop and on the turn he's counterfeit so uh, his pairs are no good he it is very easy for him to over bluff here so that's why I decide to to call him down and win this one the the next one it's not a very happy hand we open uh, hijack we get called in the small blind we have pocket tens the flop comes eight six three rainbow we see bet get called and the turn comes a four and on the turn he leads uh, 1500 and he only had 5000 behind and I decided to push all in here because on this turn the turn was a six that no it was eight eight six three the turn was a four so now he can have many combinations of gut shot and pair pair plus open-ended stuff like that of course he, he might have two pairs but that I think it's uh, it's uh, on much rare occasions so I decided to push all in. He calls and he had five three and a pair and uh, and the straight draw. Unfortunately, he gets a deuce on the river and he wins this one. So though these are basically the biggest hands that I play today all day. Oh, by the way, after this hand, so this guy was a massive fish, uh, as you could already tell. <laughs> After this hand, he got it all in, uh, 6,000 or 7,000 pre-flop with 8-4 suited and he lost against a uh, regular. Good thing I doubled him up before. So that was it for today, uh, continuing tomorrow with day 2 in my Poker October challenge. I'm afraid I have some bad news. The short version is that we just lost 65,000 Hong Kong dollars. That is uh, more than 7,000 US dollars. And that's, uh, that's a hit. That's a, a bad hit for today. Um, I don't know if I should tell you the hands because the hands are the typical run bad hands uh, I'm just gonna quickly go over them because I don't wanna I don't wanna complain to you about bad beats I think everybody does that and I don't like when people do that so I'm not gonna do that but I'm gonna quickly go over uh, the main hand of the session so I had an ace king against an ace king all in preflop that I lost by uh, my opponent making a flush on the river and then uh, I had another two three hands medium size pots a uh, hundred big blind pots something like that where my opponents got there on the river and uh, the last hand basically was me having pocket fours on 10 4 3 and getting getting it all in on the flop against pocket kings and he got a king on the turn 
so that was pretty much the history of those 65,000 Hong Kong with one exception that I have to mention is that I made a mistake a middle position player opened and the button made it 1600 from 600 and I made it 5000 from the big blind with ace king and called his all in for 20k and I think I could have folded given um, no, it was not all in. I'm, I'm, I'm so tired now. He made it 10,000 after uh, I made it 5,000. So then I jumped for 20,000. And I think I, I should have folded to his $10,000 raise because his line is so strong. Min 3 betting and min 5 betting after I called 4 bet. That's just too strong um, to get the money in with Ace King. I think a 4 bet is in place maybe. I could have made it even smaller, like 4,500, and then it would be even easier to fall to his um, re-raise. So that was my mistake, uh, where I basically burned 15,000. But long term it's not 15,000, because I still had equity, even though he had aces. But what else can I say? Yeah, I, I only waited for three and a half hours to get into a game at 100-200, so th those all Today I only played uh, 100, 200, so I had to wait for a bit, three, three and a half hours. For 5100, there's no chance you can play uh, if you ha come later than seven. Uh, today I arrived at 9 a.m. at the casino. I put my name on the list, and now it's 9 p.m. and they still didn't call me for 5100. So it's basically impossible um, with uh, this schedule to play 5100. So I was forced somehow to play 100-200, but the game was good, so that's a good thing. Uh, the challenge uh, takes a hit again because I left uh, after that hand. I tried to make one more buy-in, but I realized that my mental state is not in order. And by the way, after this, the hand with uh, pocket fours against pocket kings on 10-4-3, this guy jumped up from his chair and went two tables in the other direction and hugged with a guy and high-fived him and this is one of those moments when I when I ha hate being in Macau when stuff like this happened once they they uh, the whole table applaud when I lost a hand a flush over flush against someone else that was last year uh, and uh, of course these things happen very often but not necessarily at this scale, but it's very, I don't know, I, I felt bad when, um, when he did that. But this is the moment when I have to be mindful and I have to, to be aware of my feelings. And today I was aware that I was, I was not okay. I, I, I just wanted to smash his face. <laughs> so I decided that it's better for me to go home than to get banned from the casino or maybe uh, spill away some money because uh, I have some some tilt issue yeah so I think it's better to go home watch a movie do something else um, and tomorrow is another day I've been I've been through this it's tough when um, when things happen like this it's like you feel like you don't deserve it like you whatever you can do you cannot win when you have finally have a short run good and then boom you just lose everything back but that's poker man that's poker and if we don't like it we have to go to work but I don't like to work so I'm gonna take it in go sleep over it and tomorrow it's a new day wanna see me fall I can't go I won't leave coming from the block with plain clothes and police straight up to the top with bankrolls and rolly ride with me if you ride with me you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the day 3 poker october challenge another losing day and only 5 hours of play but today it was my fault I made a few mistakes and um, a couple of hands uh, in which I've uh, had some bad luck but um, I need I need to rest I feel tired so I don't want to push it to play too much I'm going home I feel that I'm playing sometimes a little bit too loose especially against three bets and against 
very high aggression pass flop and I think I shouldn't do that considering the games are pretty much um, I mean tight when it comes to uh, hyper aggression so the games are passive this is what I actually want to say so uh, study time because uh, it's only 8 p.m. so I have some time to put in a little poker work see you later that's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? Poker October challenge day four. I feel really good today. I slept good. I finally feel in my own element. Let's go and play some poker. End of day four. Today I managed to play for 10 hours sharp. That's a good thing. The bad thing is that I lost again. I think it's the fifth consecutive day in which I lose, mostly at 100-200. Today I managed to play even 5100 a little bit. I got earlier uh, in the morning and the lists were not that terrible. Just, just maybe that much better. I'm keeping the grind, I'm doing it, tomorrow, 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 like usual, is another day, see you then. Ice dripping, think I'm hot shit In a yellow bucket with a mop stick I've been jugging jams like wholesale Everything must go sale Hitting bitches with the old world. Boom! Day 5 Poker October challenge 10 hours done today Second day in which I reach my goal of playing 10 hours First part of the session I played 100-200 Small winner there and then switch to 5100 uh, because I needed to take a break from higher games as I've been constantly losing for, for the past four days. So today is day five and um, we finally book a win. Two wins actually for both both the stakes that I'm playing. It's, uh, it's good to, to have this win before having a break tomorrow. tomorrow is the break day like i said i want to play five days on one day off five days on one day off and that's gonna be five cycles of six days which will add up to 30 days and it will remain one day at the end of the month maybe to get uh, to to win back some hours that I lost in the first days with the, these lists and so. Other than that, the games were good today. I tried to play a little bit tighter as I figured out that the long hours will uh, make me more predisposed to mistakes. So uh, I adopted a tighter strategy. Sometimes it's hard to, <laughs> to, play, to play tight but uh, you know, you just have to do it in these games. That's it for for the moment. I'm the best nigga wouldn't mess with you, couldn't cap to him. Homie spotted me like 700, brought 1100 right back to him. If I can't do it, then it ain't real. I just make dollars, I don't make deals. I've been going hard in the paint, still blowing cush clouds till I can't feel like. Ride with me if you're